Hello again viewers, off to do another bit of fishing and wild camping, lovely day, you can see where I am, down Colwell Bay. So we'll see if I can get any fish tonight. Lovely little sandy bay just out here. So uh, no snags. Last time I lost a lot of tackle out out there uh, around Totland. There's me kit already, rod set up. I'm gonna put the tent on here. That'd be interesting. And there's a little pooch. Hello mate. And hopefully we'll get some fish tonight, but uh, well, we'll see how it goes viewers. Right folks, I've got the, uh, there's a the tent set up there. Right at the bottom of the, uh, the old searchlight. So if I have a fire later, probably be down there somewhere. Quite blowy, so I've got a bit of cotton wool over the microphone. Hopefully that will cut down a bit of the, the wind noise. Surfers. So I think it's time to get some grub on. I've only got some stuff in tins, I've just got to heat up, nothing extravagant tonight. Make it easy as possible. Thanks. Let's get some nosh on the go. Alright folks, we've got some chicken in white sauce here. My little cooking area, it's right out the wind here, it's perfect. Yeah, I've got it in, got it in the nest in here. That looks quite delicious. Mm. I'll turn that gas down a little bit. Let that heat through gently. Absolutely lovely. That's what I got later on folks. Little vegetable, tin of vegetable curry there. Absolutely lovely. That'll keep me going. And it is lovely down here. Low tide's about half past six I think this evening. So I'll fish the tide in this evening. And here's the bait I'm using. Lovely. Look at the size of that. That ragworm there folks. 
If I get hungry, I'll fry some of them up at all. Mmm. Lots of nutrients in them. If I got desperate, I'd rather eat a fish. So that's the bait. And there's the view out of my front door tomorrow morning. Absolutely beautiful. So, I think my nosh must be heated up now, folks. Let's go and have a look. It's about right. I'll turn that off. There it is, folks. Chicken in white sauce. Straight from a tin, but. So I'm going to enjoy that. Hopefully later, I might catch some fish. Nice to even get a little pout, fry that up, just like cod. Lovely. Born away there for a cup of tea viewers, and up here I noticed elderflowers. So, I'm going to do I've got these two pieces here, I'm going to infuse them in the water and have elderflower tea. Mmm, they're just oh, look at that lovely colour! Just Plant them just for a minute or so, just to get the flavour out. Would have elderflower tea, never tried it. Oh well, give it a go. There's a big old shutters there. The old searchlight. Green tea now, that'll do, I think. Yeah, that's cooked enough. Out they come. Bloody hot. Let's have a whiff of that. God, it smells really lovely. Right. Look at that. In it goes. And we will see what it tastes like. So let's give that a mash about. Have a quick sip, and if it's bloody horrible, I'll tip it away and make a normal one. But oh well, there goes nothing. Surprisingly, it's absolutely delicious. Mmm, lovely elderflower tea. Well, there you go, viewers. That's a that's a new one. And enjoy that.
just been down to the shore now as you can see the tide is well out and I've just been just down in there let's have a look and uh, take a few little lug where I'm up not very big but they've got on the hook as well as it is a natural food for this area so you never know viewers might catch something later on it's now half past six it should be should be low tide by now so as that tide starts coming it starts getting a bit darker I'll start fishing that's what I'm going to cast out into this little bit here because it's quite clear of rocks or anything like that reefy bits here you see get snagged in that so down through there is the clearest option so hope we catch something this time Right folks, earlier on as the tide was ebbing I thought I'd chuck a line out and I got snagged right behind a rock out there snapped the line so I thought I'd have a look for the tackle when the uh, tide went out and on the hook right? so I found it hooked right through the top of the head there it's like a little, a little wrasse not very big as you can see but I'll use him as bait later, I'll hook him through the tail about here, like that, hook, hook him through there, buzz him out, you never know, a nice bass might tack later, later viewers, so give that a go, it's tied right out now, it's 8 o'clock, and uh, as soon as that tide starts to pour in, whack another line out and give that a go. We'll see how that goes, folks.
morning viewers. Had a few bites last night. Not a lot. After about 10 o'clock the bites went dead, nothing at all. But well, that's fishing for you. There we are all packed up. Good night's sleep again. Everything's all ready to go. So, next camp will probably definitely be in the woods. So, until then, see you soon, viewers. <laughs>